How about now? Can you guys hear me now? I just changed the mic. Let me know if you guys can hear me now. Hopefully this thing is working. On the roads again is here. I'm good. How are you guys doing? All good now. Chicago Crown Hustler says awesome. Thank you guys. Sorry about that. I'm still trying to figure out this OBS and uh, how it all works. Tennessee Pickers here. Keeping it real with the Millers. How is everybody doing today? All right. I'm going to get right into this. I'm not going to make you guys uh, wait any longer. As you probably already saw on the screen there, uh, my auction website, we made the jump. We're now doing two auctions a week. And the reason this is kind of a big deal is because we're now doing local and national. All right. So it's always pretty much been local. We, we've shipped a little bit, uh, just not a whole lot here and there. Uh, but now we've rolled it out so that it is two auctions a week, very cut and dry stuff we can ship. That's national and stuff we can't ship that's just local so basically when you go to the website uh you're going to be prompt you know with local auctions national auctions so if you're out of state and you've been wanting to bid and just haven't bid on the website yet you can just click on the national items these are going to run concurrently so they'll both start on monday and they will end on Sundays. My computer's being really slow. OBS always slows it down. So this is all the stuff that's on the new auction this week that we can ship that will be in the national auction. So if you guys haven't been on my website, definitely check it out. There's we sell all kinds of stuff. I'm sure you know there's something for everybody. We start everything at a dollar. So stuff can go really cheap sometimes. Kurt Chicago Crown Hustler says awesome big moves. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot to to figure out, but we did get it figured out, and uh, we're excited to do it now. It's it's going to be like this moving forward. We're going to have two auctions every week. So we need to get more stuff in too. <laughs> That's the trick. More stuff coming in the door. Bargain Shopping is here. How you doing? All right, I'm going to start getting into a few things that I sold this week. Um, I'll start with a few things we sold on the website. This folding case knife, uh, I got this at a yard sale for a dollar. I'm, I'm guessing they didn't know it was a case knife or, you know, they didn't, probably didn't know anything about it. But this thing ended up selling for 33 bucks. So I was tickled pink about that. Had a really neat look to it. And it was a case double X too, so I'm sure that helped it sell. On the roads again says, excellent, Mr. Burns Simpson's voice. Oh, that's great. Alright, next up, this Radio Shack TV scoreboard. I think this is like a Atari Pong clone. At least I think that's what they called them, or Pong clones. Uh, my dad actually found this at a yard sale. I think he only paid a few bucks for it. But I thought this was just a pretty neat item, something different. You know, not the normal video game system we see all the time. Got Junk in Our Trunk says, we'll share your auction site on my Facebook page. Thank you. That's awesome. I would really appreciate that. Trying to get the word out uh, as much as possible, that's for sure. All right, so I got a whole bunch of super soakers at a yard sale, and I thought I would give them a shot on the website just to kind of test the waters with them, and clearly they did not do very well. <laughs> Certain things just don't sell well on my website, but this is something that would be uh, perfect for a reseller. Um, I, I don't bid on things on my own website, you know, to drive up the price or like to resell or anything like that. Once once I put them on the website, they're gone to the highest bidder and that bidder is not me. 
so anybody out there that sells super soakers, some of these go for pretty good money. A uh, handful of these sell for you know 15, 20 bucks on eBay. So I'd say the lot of these you could probably get 75 bucks for. Uh, there was even a Nerf gun in there. So stuff like this is you know right for the picking. Good news, good says, hey, I have one of those Radio Shack pongs. <laughs> That is funny, man. I know there were a bunch of them. I think a bunch of companies jumped in on that because I think there was something uh, where Atari didn't copyright. They didn't copyright this stuff well enough, and then there was all kinds of copies. Hey, Denise, how you doing? Light in the Woods Treasures. Mike is here. Good afternoon to you, too. Red Rocket TV. Happy Monday to you, too. Appreciate you tuning in. All right, next up is this old Monopoly board game. Someone brought this in, and this thing is old. 1935. And I think this is the original. The story I've heard about Monopoly is that they made it during the Great Depression. Uh, I think their logic was, you know, people didn't have money so they could play this game and pretend they had money. And this is back when, um, you know, all the houses and things like that were actually wood pieces. They weren't plastic. Uh, Kurt, Chicago Crown Hustler wants to know, how is shipping being calculated uh, for the national sales? So what we're going to do is, when the auction is over, we're going to combine all the shipping. So if you win, like, you know, 8, 9, 10 items, we're going to try to get it all in one box for you measure it, get your zip code, uh, things like that. We don't have it automated in the system yet, but even if we did, it would be tricky, you know, for each item, you know what I mean? So if you get a quote for shipping on one item, that price would come down as you add items in. So what we'll do is after the auction's over, um, we'll get your shipping info and send you a quote. Pretty much everything is going to go out USPS just because that usually will be the cheapest option uh, we'll send things first class if we can but yeah we were we're definitely going to make it as cheap as possible Tennessee Picker thank you for the super chat uh, when will your auctions begin and end they're asking they'll begin Monday mornings and they will end Sunday nights so the local one begins to end at seven uh, we have staggered endings so there's going to be four items that end every minute and then the national one will start ending at 8 30. So the first four items will end at 8.30, the next four 8.31, so on and so forth. And each item will have the specific end time in it. So you can add them to your watch list, just like eBay, and check and see when they're going to end. That way you can bid. Uh, Kurt says, be sure to update your shipping info on FAQs page. Yes, I'm glad you said that. That is on my to-do list. I'm going to do that today. Uh, there's a lot of things that I add on that FAQ page. I was juggling a lot this morning trying to get all the ducks in a row so that everything showed up uh, okay on the website. Barry's here, five day flipper. How are you doing, Barry? All right, next up we got this Polaroid Job Pro camera. This is a pretty good bowler for you guys. Um, any vintage Polaroids? that are variants uh, like the barbie one the construction one they, they made a lot of different variant ones they're they're worth more money than the regular ones and we had even had film with this in the original bag um i'm guessing a reseller bought this because i would say this lot here as it sits might bring 60 to 70 on ebay uh the film alone is probably worth about 30 maybe a little bit more the camera is probably worth another 25 to 30 and then i would think the bag would add some value to it as well but I just think these these old cameras are really neat. The look at this Job Pro one is just cool. And it was really clean, too. Someone brought in this cleaver, and it was a case cleaver, a case double X. I didn't know they made cleavers. Um, I'm constantly learning new and different stuff about everything. But I just thought this cleaver was really cool. The fact that it was a case, I'm sure, is what helped it sell. And, you know, it's almost Halloween, so if somebody's wanting some decor or uh, costume props, this thing would be perfect. This Atari came in with the original box, a whole bunch of games, extra controllers, just all kinds of stuff. I 
I, mean, I remember I meant to look to see if E.T. was in this lot. I know E.T. for the Atari has been dubbed the worst game of all time. Just because they threw it together real haphazard and kind of rushed it. And it was just turned out to be uh, awful, <laughs> as expected, I guess. There it is. E.T. Jory, if you're still watching, you might be able to confirm this if, you know, if you've heard E.T. has been dubbed the worst game of all time. All right, next up, this President's Pez set. Um, honestly, I kind of expected to sell for more. I've seen these sell on eBay for like 30 bucks and up. I think I've even seen some selling like the $50 range. So the fact that it sold for four was a little disappointing. But again, perfect example of something that's easy to ship. Good to use good says, that's a good little Atari haul. Uh, they literally buried copies of E.T. I've heard that. Yeah, there was a lot of, a lot of stuff I heard the Atari buried that was dug up later. Jory says, one of the worst games ever made. Yep. A little collectible because of that. That's funny. All right, on to some eBay sales. I sold this Sony Tektronix Oscilloscope. I've had this thing for a long time. Long, long time. Um, ended up selling it for 80 bucks. Um, I powered it on, but I didn't really know how to test this thing because I've never really dealt with these. But there's a pretty good market for this specific one. I mean, I saw them sell them for, you know, well over 100 if they were fully working. I just didn't know enough about them to test them. Just something unique and different. It weighed a ton, too. It cost 17 bucks to ship. Chicago Crown Hustler says it's so bad you want to play it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I sold this uh, Slodge or Slage or however you pronounce it, uh, touchscreen deadbolt. Got 90 bucks for this thing. Only paid 25 Picked it up at a yard sale, I guess it's been a week ago, a little over a week ago. It sold really fast. It was like a day or two after I listed it, it sold. Most of the ones I see with the numbers that you put in, you know, actually had buttons. So I think the touch screen is pretty desirable. But yeah, this thing was sealed in the box. Box was a little bit rough, but I'm sure everything inside was fine. I got these uh, Moan or Moen, however you pronounce it. <clears throat> I got some uh, Ruffin valves uh, with drain assemblies, and I got uh, some faucets. I got two of these roughing valves and I got two of the faucets and for all of them I paid like 40 bucks or 45 bucks. I sold both of these to the same person, uh, both of the roughing valves. So I got 80 bucks just for these. Have the original box, everything with it. And then I also sold these faucets and I got 70 each for these the same guy bought these also everything new in the box so 140 for these two plus 80 for these was 220 for my initial $45 investment on those Picked up this Harvest Moon N64 game. I got this, I want to say, two weeks ago. And the guy had a whole bunch of video games that he pulled out for me. I asked if he had video games. He went inside and brought out like seven or eight N64 games and seven or eight PS3 games. And I got all of them for 
gosh, now I'm trying to remember. I think it was 25 bucks, if I'm remembering correctly. I paid 25 bucks for all the games. And uh, there were some good N64 titles in there. Got 40 bucks uh, for this one. I've still got more that i got to sell. Uh, the PS3 titles were okay. Uh, weren't really great. Chad Goldenfinger Pickers here. He says, I'm late. What's the announcement? Uh, announcement is I'm doing two auctions per week on my website, Chad. Uh, we're now shipping stuff out, so we're going to do a national auction as well as a local auction. So stuff that we can ship out. So if you go to my website, you'll see the national auction. Here is another one of the N64 games I picked up at that sale. Sold this one for $17.99, free shipping. Banjo-Kazooie is a pretty good title. And this one sold pretty fast, too. It was just a day or two after I listed it. On the Roads Again says, sold several of those O-scopes from a hoarder, clean-out job five years ago, around $400 for five of them. Wow. That's awesome. What brands were they? I'm sure there's a ton more brands than Sony. I just haven't seen very many of them. Chad says, congrats. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's been in the works for a while now. Just finally got it rolled out. MTG Daw 73 asks, any luck ever finding Magic the Gathering stuff? I rarely find that stuff. I found, a f you know, a few, like, blaster packs or whatever they call them. Um, but I just haven't seen very much of it. I think whoever has that stuff hangs on to it. But I know there's a pretty good market for it. Do you play it or do you just get them to resell? Dwayne Mothership Products is here. How you doing, bud? Alright, sold the Scrabble game finally. Uh, I took a best offer of like 10 or 11 bucks on it. It was sealed. I've had it for, for probably four or five months. I got it for a buck or maybe it was 50 cents at a yard sale. And I uh, just sat on it for a long time. Thought it would, you know, sell a little bit more since it was sealed. But I was just happy to get it moved and gone. Got junk in our trunk says I have a boatload of magic right now sitting in my living room. Well, you two might want to hook up then. I know there's a pretty good market for uh, Magic the Gathering cards. I know a lot of guys still play it. Pretty popular. MTG DOS says, yeah, I've been playing uh, for 18 years-ish. Super hard to find in the wild everywhere unless it's eBay prices. Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody who has those cards are hanging on to them. All right, picked up this um, Franklin Dictionary. This will be a good bolo for you guys, only because you know you wouldn't think that people would want to buy any kind of dictionaries, whether it be electronic or uh, print style, just because everything's on your phone now. But this thing sells pretty well. Um, I paid a buck for it, or maybe it was two bucks. I knew it was cheap. I had it for thirty bucks for best offer, and somebody offered me I think twenty free ship. So I just went ahead and took it because it, it was super lightweight. It cost me like under three dollars to ship it. On the roads again it says have no idea now. Got some ham radio receivers from the same clean out. Good money there too. All all of them were from the eighties. Yeah, I think there's from what I've heard there's a pretty good market for ham radios and radio receivers. I haven't sold too many of them, but I know a lot of the guys still use that stuff. Good use good says the uh, magic card seems like a lot of work and research. Yeah, that might be one of those things where if, if you get a big lot of them, you might just want to auction them off as a lot, and then just take lots and lots of photos. Because yeah, I, I couldn't tell you what the valuable ones are. Alright, got this Microsoft Comfort Curve keyboard. Didn't pay very much at all for this. I pay, I, they were asking $5 at a yard sale. I got it for 3 bucks. And I didn't really know about these until Lonnie Garage Flips was talking about them. He mentioned them in a video. 
want to say a month or two ago, uh, just that he had been selling a lot of them. And after he said that, I found like six or seven. I've been finding these all over the place. And uh, they, they, there's a pretty good market for them. Some of them sell for more than others. But they sell pretty quick. They're pretty sought after. So 22 bucks plus ship, I was pretty happy about that. MTG Doss says, yeah, as a player, I know off the top of my head what's what, but for resellers, it's a lot of work and time, yeah. So, of those Magic cards, you know, what do some of them sell for, like, individually? You know what I mean? Like, a highly sought-after card, what, what would it be worth? Could use good, says, love me some keyboards, yeah. Easy to test, easy to ship. Joy, you do a lot of those old clicky keyboards, don't you? Those old IBM clicky keyboards. I've been on the lookout for those too. I just haven't, you know, found. I found some IBMs, but I don't think they were the the, the sought after ones. Jory says, also, agilent oscilloscopes are the ones worth thousands. Wow. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye out for those. Sold these digital wireless headphones for $69.99 plus shipping. Uh, they were sealed. I got these at a yard sale about two months ago. Only paid five bucks for them. They were asking ten, but the lady was taking any and all offers that I was offering her on her stuff. So, got these for cheap. Got junk in our trunk says we have found a sixty dollar card this week. Some fourteen have some proxy cards. MTG Dust says I mean honestly some of the first from nineteen ninety three uh, called Power Nine a few thousand each for a few wow yeah there must be some hardcore either collectors and players out there. If they're paying thousands of dollars for a couple of magic cards, that's crazy. Any of the Parrothead Pickers here, he says, Hey, John, sold that same comfort keyboard last week. What'd you get for it? I'd be willing to bet you got more than it, more than yours for, than I did for mine. And he's always getting top dollar for stuff. That is it, guys. That is it for my sales. This is just a search I had done for some of those presidential paths. Just because I had a feeling they sold for quite a bit. I'm just going to jump on my website here really quick and show you guys a few items in the national auction. So when you go to the home page, um, you can either just scroll down and you'll see the auction, or you can go right through the auctions and it'll it'll take you to those two. And he says he got twenty nine ninety nine for his. Yeah, I think I underpriced mine, bud. I got twenty two for mine. I thought this thing was really cool. So this is a 1963 Corvette VC uh, video cassette rewinder. Um, it's not from 63. It's just a 63 Corvette. Uh, they probably made it in the 80s or something. But I'm sure you guys all remember uh, having to rewind VHS tapes. And this is just a cool way to do it. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Honestly, when I first saw it, I just thought it was a model car and didn't realize it was actually a cassette rewinder. T. 
TI-84 calculator. Here's some Pokemon cards. So I don't know if you guys are looking for Pokemon cards. We got some of those on this week. Chicago Crown Hustler says, be kind, please rewind. Yeah, I remember all those stickers on the Blockbuster tapes. I'm going to jump off here in just a few minutes. Just thought I would show you guys a few more things here. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Got an Abu Garcia reel. Looks like it jumped right up. A few bobbleheads, some prints. Perdita Picker says, sold those presidential pez early last year for 20 or 25. Almost got in a fight at a garage sale over them. <laughs> I would love to hear that whole story. I don't picture you as a fighter, Andy. Not that you couldn't fight. I just don't see you, you know, picking a lot of fights. MTG Dust says, I'm from Kentucky. Used to go to Riverfront as a kid. Haven't been doing a game forever. Yeah, that was a great stadium. I've actually got some of those stadium seats down in my basement. But yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out uh, Great American Ballpark if you haven't been. It's a great stadium. Got a game gear this week. A handful of games, a bunch of matchbooks. Just a little bit of everything. All right, guys, that's all I got. I appreciate you watching. Um, for anybody that missed the beginning, uh, the big announcement was my website, we're going to two auctions per week. We're doing local and national, so anybody out of state that wants to bid, uh, everything is in that national auction. So please check it out. Um, thought I heard somebody knocking on my door. Uh, but that is all I got. Um, Chicago Crown Hustler is asking, can I ship matchbooks? You know what? That's a good question. I didn't even think about that. I should probably look into the uh, rules and regulations of that to make sure I can that they're actually shippable. I might have to, if you know, if somebody wins that that's out of state, we might have to cross that bridge when we come to it. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.